hey everyone once again welcome back and uh, in the previous video we are implementing the reward system right uh, which is uh, we implemented this that how to store our products and uh, whenever we are saving our products uh, uh, we are getting its quantity and points and everything right everything is working fine but here i want to add one more thing here when i'm clicking on it here and i'm facing some problem uh, like in case in this case I'm going to um, mismatch this column and if I go here and visit this uh, camera purchase now so it's not displaying the error here right it will display the error in the console cannot read type of error but it's not displaying here on the user side right so user will not be aware about this one that what's the error why this product isn't added in the um purchase products right so now 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 how to make sure this that to uh, error should be visible on the user screen so now let's go here and here we are getting the uh, response and we are throwing this get message response and if i visit this script right do what's the error console log response is it storing in the object or in the multiple objects and storing this inside the object? Now let's click on this uh, uh, ready state response and it's directly storing in the response text, right? So we don't need to apply this so uh, here response or text if I go ahead and add this out. Let's refresh it. by now and yes i'm getting the error here so simply add this like this and then get this uh, response right response dot response text error something went wrong otherwise you display this thing right now let's give it a refresh click on it by now right? and yes now the error is properly visible so our uh, uh, catch uh, helper catch method will be catch all of the error catch all of the error that something went wrong right so user will be now visible that what's the wrong or you can also display the custom message here that uh, uh, something went wrong right like this i close this one purchase now so now something went wrong right but this one is not more descriptive message right so that's why i did this uh, get message which is the exact error i know that this one is uh, a long message right but it's more uh, descriptive but one more thing here is it's exposing all of our our table and it's these things right so this is not correct so display here uh, Final message that what's the error so um, unable, unable to purchase the product please uh, here you need to display the error message and then guide the user that uh, what are the actions you need to take to get rid of this error so please refresh the web page and try again why i'm mentioning the refresh here because uh, whenever users are performing some actions uh, it's going to uh, going through the ajax call right without page refresh so something uh, sometimes something went wrong right dom isn't to respond properly so when they will refresh the web page so this will work properly right uh, please refresh the web page and try again and here you need to add one more message here is um, if uh, still uh, if still uh, persist the same error contact you with the administrator right so in this way user also know that uh, what I will do the next if I will face this error right click on this purchase unable to purchase this product something went wrong and if still same 
uh, refresh it excuse him so they will contact the user that i'm unable to purchase this product so please fix this issue right and administrator will be also aware about this one that uh, my site is uh, having this problem that uh, user can't purchase this product so it will increase their sales too because um, uh, uh, if this is not the case user isn't telling the administrator that your uh, this checkout is isn't working right so maybe after 10 orders or 20 orders here you realize that my this uh, purchase uh, product feature is not working so he or she will lose the 20 orders right so that's why it's a good thing to uh, add these things uh, in the descriptive way and also uh, uh, make the user interface uh, simple right now i'm going to click on this purchase and yes now it's purchased successfully okay uh, so here i'm purchasing these products and these products are purchased successfully right and one more thing here i want to add is about to mm -hmm. let me think about this that uh, one more thing which is very important mm -hmm. oh the important thing is here we need to check the user balance right if i go here and open this users here uh, my user points are 10 right and i purchase the products of uh, around 150 and i purchase the products of 180 points right my balance isn't uh, um, my balance is 10 points and i purchase the 180 products right 180 points product which is not correct so first uh, we need to make sure that what's the user balance and then inform if the user balance is lower than the product price so we can uh, show the message to the user that your balance is uh, low so you can recharge and then apply this again okay so here uh, we need to uh, add a check here to make sure that our user is balance is correct so we have uh, um, we are getting the user id here so now let's revert this here to the user object right because i want to perform the two actions on the user also make this user id so now it will get the user id from the user object and i will use this user object here so i want to check that to uh, user balance so i have a user object and i want to check that what's the points in the user balance and here i will compare that if my product price is uh, uh, suitable with this balance then i will use this if uh, user balance is greater than product price uh, is less than price here i don't want to add this to one user balance is less than product price i want to display a very descriptive message like we did this for here so it's same right but without different to error 42 right uh, it's same and here with a different message your balance is uh, in insufficient and please uh, recharge and try again your balance is uh, insufficient please recharge and try again okay save this one and let's go here visit this out and now my balance is 10 and i want to purchase this uh, canon camera click on this buy now and now let's test this that i'm going to uh if i will purchase this camera or not so click on this purchase now and displaying your balance is insufficient recharge it and try again what's showing in the quotes uh oh because yes so uh, we are getting this inside the uh inside the array right like this that's so that's is a case so we can also 
add this into the error badge here let me also add this here array 2 right why I'm doing this I will explain this in a minute message and here I'm passing this to the uh, error key right I use this so uh, array and I'm passing this error to this so uh, error message with the key right here I'm also passing this error I'm just passing this so uh, error and this error right so now I can get this only one uh, only one error catcher here for this one to get the exact error right so for this so uh, here mm, I'm getting this so uh, response dot request so here I can now get the response dot to response to JSON right which we I'm doing this before response JSON like this uh, response dot JSON dot error so if I go ahead and give it a refresh click on this buy now purchase and yes your balance is insufficient please recharge and try again so here basically my, my response is now storing inside the response json right and then this would be stored in the error right and if you want to make sure so you can uh, simply go here and console this again refresh it open the console click on it okay displaying the error and now this one is uh, stored uh, inside let me uh, visit the proper one uh, it's a response x server error displaying the server error uh, okay refresh it click on it purchase yes ready and now this one is stored inside the response json badge right and then this would be the error your balance and then this stored this message so that's why i'm collecting it from this so uh, response so json and then error property right so now our errors are also visible that user cannot purchase a product right so now user will contact the administrator right to purchase this product so uh, for example user is uh, user don't have money and uh, he cannot afford this to uh, if I go here and purchase this list why so now I'm, I will I will be able to purchase this uh, uh, from this one and here we need one more logic here is when someone purchase the product to, from here so user web balance should be also deducted right so now let's go here in the home controller uh, if the user a mm, user uh, if our control is there so it means that uh, our user balance uh, is greater than product price right so here now uh, we need to add this after this so uh, purchase this one is purchase we need to add one more thing here we have a user object at the top and we need to deduct the balance uh, deduct the product price from here uh, update right want to update the points and then these points should be the uh, we need to uh, store here user balance and do uh, user points the storing is less than this one is a user balance and uh, the same thing here want to get the user balance here I'm getting the user balance right after purchasing the product I need to mm -hmm, I need to take this uh, from this price right so my user balance would be the user balance minus uh, uh, product price right like this right i don't want to do this like this i want to store this inside the variable and then call it here or you can also create your variable at the top i want to create the user balance again and here i will store all of the properties here this user balance is uh, or we can say that simply a balance right and then this balance will be passed here uh, i'm not to directly 
uh, calling the logic here i added this at the top and then i'm storing i'm uh, uh, passing this to this one that says um not fancy thing i want to uh, make things so clear and if i will use this variable in the future so i don't need to uh, override this inside this property inside this uh, update method so now let's uh, try this out here click on this buy now and remember user have only 10 points right so click on this purchase and yes good job it's purchased and if i go here and visit this out and uh, remember this one is 10 refresh and yes zero points right so if i go here click on this purchase now so user balance is insufficient please recharge and try again so it means that now our system is working as expected that uh, our user balance is uh, less than this product price so user should uh, reach out the balance and then he or she will be able to purchase this product right and uh, great you are also doing the great job you learn a lot of things that uh, uh, how to log in the simple user how to log in the administrator how to display these products so how to purchase this product how to apply the restriction that if we have multiple quantity so we want to store the different price we want to also store the here if the user for balance is insufficient, insufficient to display a proper message that your price uh, your balance is insufficient so recharge the user and here now the time is to add one more amazing functionality so the functionality is i want to now create a, a reference of this user right basically i want to create the referring reference system so user balance isn't to uh, doesn't have uh, proper to uh, proceed with this product so now i want to uh, add a reference here at the top to refer this product to any of the new users so if user will be registered so you will be awarded with uh, some default points right so then user will be able to purchase this product again right so this series is going uh, amazing right and uh, if you like this series please share your feedback that uh, uh, before this you uh, saw any type of this series on the internet or not and also shoot my uh also uh, shoot some comment that uh, not shoot also add some comments that uh, uh, what should be improved in this series because i'm shooting this in the live right so you can also share your feedback so i will improve uh, this according to your feedback and then i will shoot the next videos right which will uh, suit you and uh, thank you so much for watching this video so i will meet you in the next one Bye bye